everybody. Hi, uh, you're through to me and Joe here. We're going to try our fabulous new McDonald's meal of the week. Uh, that's we? right, yeah. We're going to be trying, apparently, Mike's done the research, we're going to be trying the Australian Barbecue Supreme from the Around the World series. Planned to this last week, but unfortunately we couldn't, so we missed the American one. Was it American last week? No, it was Mexican, wasn't it? I was really looking forward to the Mexican one as well, but never mind, you know. I you could hate eat barbecue sauce on pizza. I don't really like it, especially as a dip. That being said, you know, I'm willing to put that all aside <laughs> and see how I like the Australian Barbecue Supreme. So it's fair to say this is going to be a tough sell for you, Joe, already off the bat. It's already something you don't like. It's not the first time McDonald's has this promotion. It's had it for, I think, two or three years in a row now, hasn't it? No, I wondered. I wondered as well, when we decided that we'd do this, whether we'd get there quickly. Because when they do do these promotional burgers, they do kind of whiz through them. just like Exactly just like that. We've missed one, haven't we? We've missed one. The timing's been futile, unfortunately. We don't have all the time in the world just to be going buying burgers like I wish we did. <laughs> I like how last week, because I wasn't free, you couldn't go and buy yourself a burger. Yeah, but the idea was we're supposed to do the yeah, review but you I did but, consider it. But not even for this. Even, not even for this thing. No, you didn't do it on your own, just in your own... Not even really my own research. No. no, no, because you really wanted it as well, but no. That's because, that's because I've decided to actually watch what I eat which is a great time to launch a YouTube series of reviewing crap food. If you're planning, yeah, if you're planning your diet and you're planning to have good meals, you put that time aside as like, this is the day that we're going to make a video. So this is the day that I'm going to eat crap food. Nothing. So the rest of the time, I'm going to eat well. I've just gone half five in the evening, and I'll let you know, I've only had two Weetabix today. That's all I've had to eat all My day. word, that is extraordinary. I've had more than that, obviously, <laughs> but... But this is what this is what finished Adam Richman off, you know. That's why he had to quit that Man vs. Food program. Really? Yeah, because it was it was doing his ticker <laughs> no end of good. <laughs> Man vs. Heart Attack isn't such a popular show, is it? Yeah, so don't expect to see us like sort of sweating and crying in your local uh, <laughs> burger emporium. What we want to be doing is offering like a nice British alternative to all of these convenience foods that aren't really as glamorous or as exciting as our American friends. Yeah, but that, we're going to go to McDonald's now, so yep, we're gonna go come on with and we'll, uh, we'll take you with you. Yes, yeah, so we've already been told there's going to be a backlog on these, because I've heard the call go for about four, so... This is the dilemma you've already said about, isn't it? I don't like this. I don't like waiting. Fast food is not fast, but you have to wait for it. McDonald's spends a lot of money on advertising these promotions, so it's surprising to see that the packaging for these burgers is generic for the whole run, which is pretty bland and uninspiring. And pretty bland and uninspiring seems to be the theme of this burger. Lettuce, barbecue sauce, diced onions, some bacon rashers, and the standard regular McDonald's cheese. So me and Joe just finished our our um, Australian barbecue supreme burgers and I have to say um, I'm disappointed with it quite quite largely so the bacon on there was too little amount to really taste it, it wasn't evenly spread out was, the uh, the most overpowering taste on there for me was onion and of raw onion flavour for me I, c I can I can't taste anything else in my mouth other than the onion flavour and that's not and that, that's not like I'm overpowered with onion it's just the face of the only the only lingering taste I've got is of the raw onion the bun is a it's standard McDonald's soft bun. It's standard McDonald's cheese as well, I think. For me, it just feels like a, just a bit of a longer normal burger. And you, you may as well buy a normal hamburger and just dip it in barbecue sauce for me. This week's Australian Barbecue Supreme, I have to say, has got to be one of the dullest McDonald's themed burgers I have ever had. Every ingredient on here, the mayo, the barbecue sauce, the bacon, it's all stuff that, like, a McDonald's employee could make on their lunch break using ingredients that are in the kitchen around the clock. There's nothing particularly formidable or exciting. I didn't see anything that was particularly Australian or supreme about it. I have to say it was a massive disappointment. I hope that the rest of these tastes uh, offer us something a little bit more exciting. So that was it. That was our first trip out to McDonald's for their five tastes around the world. What's next week? I've forgotten already. Uh, next week, if we can manage to get it, is the uh, Spanish, Spanish Grande. Grande. Spanish that does, Grande. That, that does, look, does nice. look more yeah. exciting. Um, what were your thoughts about going back to McDonald's? We've not been for quite a while. Um, well, 
I have to say, the reason behind this, the idea for this, is that, Joe, whenever me and you go to McDonald's normally, you always go for the special limited edition burger. Me, I don't. Normally, I just go for... I've got a standard that I always go to because it's there. For me, it's McDonald's. It's fast food. I want to get in, have my food and get out. I don't want to stand around and wait for it to be prepared. If you go for something off the special menu, for me, you've always got that extra long wait to get it as well. I'm disappointed. I am disappointed for you, Michael, that your, your foray outside of your comfort zone has led to... A pretty fruitless uh, yeah. experience. Well, we had a little. We had a little conversation with the uh, lady on the till who said that this this menu has been quite popular. We were actually in a backlog. Of That's right. Four. Yeah. The guy in front of us, he wanted an Australian barbecue supreme, but he wanted no sauce, no mayo, no lettuce, just bacon and cheese. Just wanted a bacon cheeseburger plain, really, which made me wonder why what, he didn't what, just go yeah. something that was. Around. Just chuck a few bits of bacon and double cheeseburger might have done him. Uh, so thanks for watching. That was Australian Barbecue Supreme. <laughs> we'll be back soon or Ish. later <laughs> with another another great review. Bye bye. Bye bye.